Hey guys, in this video, I will discuss how many amps can a 16 gauge wire handle. A homeowner should pay much attention to information and details when installing household appliances. This consideration is not the electrician's job alone because when electrical appliances get spoiled, the responsibility of damaged appliances is a concern first to the user before the attention of the professional electrician is called. When purchasing electrical appliances and fittings, one must know what ranges of wire sizes are available, the corresponding volt equivalents, and the current load that can be handled by such an appliance at any given condition. Welcome to HomeGuideInfo.com. Before starting, I would like to say, whatever we explain in the videos is only for educational purposes. We don't provide any expert advice. Let's get into this. A 16-gauge wire can handle a maximum of 13 amps. The amperage of the wire is inversely proportional to the amount of current it transmits in amps. The larger the gauge size, the smaller the wire, hence, the lesser current it can transmit. Also, the smaller the wire's diameter, the more excellent the resistance to the flow of electricity across the wire. How many amps can a 16-gauge wire handle at 12 volts? At 12 volts, a 16-gauge wire can handle only about 10 amps. You can calculate this from the amount of volt per amp. It is known that 1 amp equals 120 volts, then, 12 volts will equal approximately 0.833 amps. Therefore, in a 16-gauge wire, where a current of 13 amp flows through it, the voltage transmitted via this wire is known by multiplying the amp and the volts. So, a 16-gauge wire with a current capacity of 13 amps at 120 volts would be multiplied by 0.8333 amps. That is the current carrying capacity at 12 volts. How many currents can a 16 Aruban Florins wire carry? The American wire gauge of size 16 can carry a current of up to 13 amps. This load is different from other gauge sizes of the wire. The current carried by the wire is inversely proportional to the size of the wire. Therefore, the current that runs through a wire depends on its size because the larger the wire, the more current it can carry. It is important to note that the wire size does not correspond to the figures attached. In the American wire gauge system, the larger figure of gauges, the smaller the wires. This pattern implies that a 14-gauge wire is larger than a 16-gauge wire. It also determines the amount of electrical current it can transmit. The resistance to the current flow affects the amount of current transmission in a wire. A smaller gauge size being a gauge size of 14, which has a larger diameter, allows transmission of a higher current with little resistance to the flow of electricity. What is a 16-gauge wire rated for? The 16-gauge wire is generally used for low electricity consuming appliances. In addition, they are suitable for light-duty extension cords due to the low current transmission in the 16-wire gauge. The 16-wire gauge is used at home for daily household electrical appliances. Light-duty extension cords can transmit current to appliances like holiday lights, televisions, freezers, hedge trimmers, portable fans, radio, lamps, television, and any other household item. The 16-gauge wire can carry 13 amps and has a designated length of about 50 feet. This connection can provide power to indoor and outdoor appliances or anywhere needed for electricity. For indoor use, the light-duty extension cord with a 16-gauge wire can be differentiated from the light-duty extension for outdoor use by looking out for certain features. These features include the number of prongs on the plug and the amount of insulation around the wire. The 16-gauge wire light-duty cord comes with a two-prong connection. You can easily see this by looking at the plug of the wire. These cords are designed this way because most appliances connected to the 16-gauge wire do not need a ground connection as they do not consume large currents. Sometimes, the 16-gauge wire could also come with a three-pronged plug. This design occurs in instances where the outlets are not grounded. Alright, folks, that's all in the video. See you in the next one. If you want to read a blog post, you can visit our website, a link is in the description. Please like, share, subscribe, and help us to reach a new audience and grow our channel.